All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 10 of Just the Bare Minimum, and we're doing the boys in blue. Basically, no skills, no attachments for that free suppressor, and nothing like that. So, first things first, let's steal the donuts. And then we're going to hack or lockpick this door here. We're going to be careful because the lead guard comes through here. And we're going to take advantage and sneak through. Got to be careful here. We're going to sit here and try to get this QR code from this guard. There is a phone in that office that you can get. It's kind of tricky, though, where you can get it off this guard here. Sometimes he has it, sometimes he doesn't. So now we're going to go upstairs once we get one of those two QR codes. And look for the captain's office. So once we've located the captain's office, we're just going to take a peek inside. Hello, Cap. You need to hack into the captain's computer, but you now we need to lure him away, and we're going to do that by using the donuts. We could mask up and just kill him or tie him up, but we're going to try to do this mass off. Because it is easier, in my opinion, to do a mass off. Because if you get caught in a private area, you'll just get escorted out. And you could try again. So while we're waiting for the cap to leave his spot, I'm going to come downstairs. Guard. And we're just going to sneak in here, use the QR code. The captain is on and we need to find a red key card in one of these lockers here. I know it's a lot of lockers, but I'm going to make it simple for you. I've already checked all the combinations for each locker. It's either locker 7, 16, 46, 40, or 33. That could change in the future, um, but these are the, all the possible combinations for the map right now. So just go through here, checking the lockers. You got to be careful because those are technically guards. They're just sitting around being lazy, and they can spot you since this is a secure area. So it gets kind of tricky with 40 here. You just want to kind of... Tap your way up so you're not exposed. Just grab it and back off and you should be fine. 33 is difficult as well. It's on the other side here because they're literally right there. It's probably the worst possible spot. But once you get the key card, you can work our way back upstairs around that guy. Jeez, the lead guard isn't too bad on this map, but sometimes he can scare you. So we're going to finally hack his computer. And this is going to be a two-stage hack. First stage is going to be in here. Second stage is going to be out there. We do have motion sensors that I'm probably going to throw down here. Alright, so the second computer that we need to hack is going to be on the opposite side, unfortunately. It does change, so keep that in mind. Just make sure you're not being spotted by cameras and you should be fine. Alright. Now that that's done, we gotta work our way back to the captain's office. Alright, this is a short hack here for the remaining time. Alright, so now we need to look for Jeremy Benton and his desk. The desk he has is going to have fingerprints that we need to look for. So his desk could be anywhere along the top floor here. So... That is Jeremy's desk right here. It's in the middle of a lot of cameras, but basically we need to steal his fingerprints. So once we steal his fingerprints, we already have the red key card, so that's the double access. Now we're going to work on the other side of the building where we came up from. We are going to throw a motion sensor down here. Just to help us. Since it is chaotic. Now this part gets a little chaotic too as well. Basically, this room has a camera and a guard in here, which makes it tight quarters for trying to sneak around. But it's not too bad. The only downside is transporting bags. It takes a while. Alright, so we're going to use the fingerprints. Spin the dial here. And there's going to be two cameras in here that you got to be careful about. Alright. We're going to use the red key card to get inside. And we're going to be picking up the bags here. The van is on its way. Keep bagging that gold. We're going to open up this little pass-through shutter. 
And just rinse and repeat with the gold bars. There's a couple other bags you can loot in here, but since this is just the bare minimum, we're only going to grab the six bags of bars. The vault looting isn't too bad, actually. It's pretty easy. These cameras don't really spot you in this corner. If they did, that would be insane. All right, once we're done with that, we're going to work our way out of the vault here. We do want to be careful with this guard and camera over here. Because he can go to three different locations. He can be either on this side, standing over there, or being sitting down. When he's sitting down, he cannot hear the radio being played. But once he stands up, he can hear it. Mm, check that out. And that's the easiest way to really get the bags from here is through that. And we're going to transport them around this area over here. You do got to be careful with that camera there. That can be a really dangerous camera. This guard, we can distract him with this lure, which is very useful. Alright. If you have any chance to grab a bag from this guy, take it. Because he is really annoying. You just got to be careful with this guard. He has whack locations. We're going to hack this lure. Just to keep him distracted a little bit longer. Alright, so... Once you have all the bags out, you can start moving them out here in the back. This is the tricky part as well. This is really tough. You have all these cameras and basically nowhere to hide. There's a guard in this room here. You gotta be careful. Also gotta look out for this stupid camera. Yeah, that guard is literally right there. It's fucking tense pretty quick. We're gonna lockpick this and just freaking come back this way, man. Use the red key card that we got from earlier and just boss the bags back here. As far as my knowledge, nobody comes back here, so we're good on that. You gotta be careful because a guard will walk around this way, but he won't go that far. And it just sucks that you have to wait for this guard to kind of do his own thing. There is possibly a route that you can take the bags through the front, but... I really haven't found that out yet. You might be able to sneak bags through the side fence on that corner there. I've tried it, but I didn't like fully try to do it because it takes too much time to go back and forth just to test which spot works. So we're just going to do the long route. Guard. There are a lot of variables on this map that change, especially since the update made it so where everything is just kind of randomized. But if you take things slow and use the private area to your advantage with being unmasked, then you should get the job done. If you have a bag and you're about to be spotted, just toss it and it should lower your spotting detection by a little bit so where you can get safely into a certain location. This part is probably the hardest part out of everything It's just transporting the gold bags. Especially since I can only carry one. Should be smooth sailing once we get inside here. Holy moly. Oof, that was intense. Smooth sailing. I'm 100% sure no guards will come back here. Unless for some reason the lead guard wants to just make up random rules and come back here. Keep in mind, this is not an easy heist at all. You want to probably come in here with skills and stuff like that. I'm just doing this so the average everyday player knows it's possible without anything. And especially doing a mask, mask off. Unfortunately, we will not be able to get into the back of the van, but that is alright. 
We're just going to take our sweet victory and get the hell out of here. Alright, that's pretty much it for episode 10 of Just the Bare Minimum. I will try to do my best to get back to the other maps that I missed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.